Yo, yo, yo. Hi, everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to do a little self-care day, but in a way that's like glorifying to God. Um, and I'll talk more about that throughout the video. But join me to just have a little refresh day. Got this a few years ago and thought I should use it. And because I only got like half of it left. And it's perfect because it's Christmas time, so... So I just read my Bible and prayer journal. I read about how the apostles after Jesus had ascended, when they were preaching the gospel, they were told to like stop and they were like, we can't stop. And it's just cool like to see their boldness. And their boldness grew not only through themselves, but throughout the people around them who were getting saved. They were becoming more and more bold, which is just so encouraging because I was praying for boldness. God is good. Anyways, gonna do more things to just take care of myself. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm on my way to the gym and I'm gonna do arms and some type of cardio. Probably just gonna walk because my body feels pretty tired, but I consider working out like self-care treatment, like almost restful in a way because it takes care of not only my body, but my mind. Um, when I feel like super caught up in my thoughts and everything going on in my life, working out kind of lets me take a break from thinking and just, you know, work out. And it also, makes me feel happier. I forget what chemical it releases, but it does release a chemical that makes you feel happier. And I always just feel better after I work out. So that's what we're doing. with the gym and you just saw me do the hydro massage it's so I don't feel like I'm dying after like the day after like when I wake up tomorrow my legs won't be dying um but so I did do arms I did a little bit of running and then some walking on the treadmill which was nice my body feels great and I'm going to see my grandma my aunt got us noodles and company so I'm gonna go eat some dinner and hang out with my grandma she's so like heartwarming and fun to be with so it's gonna be nice because she's just you know makes me feel loved so yeah if you can't tell I just showered and I feel much better especially after that gym moment hey everyone okay so i just got back to my dad's place um i was just at my grandma's with my aunt and my grandma and just got to hang out talk eat some yummy food and then i showered and i feel super clean and just ah, refreshed um these are just like little ways that i try to like take care of myself there's obviously more things that i will do um i also talked to a friend today and um she's a strong sister in christ so i like am thankful that i have her to kind of bounce things off and she's one person that i can go to and confess sin and ask for advice and be encouraged so um shout out to natalie because we facetime all the time and she's so encouraging and she helps me so much and it's like a little tool for self-help but okay so i wanted to talk about self-help and like is it a sin? Should we not, like, be about self-help? Should we, should we do self-help? Like, what, how does it fall into the Christian life? Because I think that there's people who go to the two extremes where it's like, oh, yes, self-help, 100%. And then it's like, no self-help. No, 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 no. And there's good points from both that I want to talk about. 
One thing is that the Bible talks about now in the New Covenant that if we have trusted in Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And that means we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's where he dwells. It's his like, it's the temple that he dwells in. That means we need to take good care of it. We don't want to idolize our bodies, right? But we do want to take care of it. We don't want to treat our body like just another thing. Like this is a gift from God. God made us and we need to take care of what God gave us. Like we want to steward everything that God gave us well and for his glory. We basically are just taking care of the place that the Holy Spirit dwells. So working out, taking restful days, taking a bath, eating food, like all these little things that could be seen as like self-care. Yes, like it is taking care of ourselves, but it's not for us. It's for him. It's for the Holy Spirit who dwells inside every believer. So um, that's one reason why self-care. Great thing. Another thing is that like we were made for rest. So on the seventh day after God created everything he created in the beginning, he rested on the seventh day, which is a good thing. And then he created the Sabbath and wanted his people to keep the Sabbath. And it wasn't supposed to be like, like we weren't made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath was made for us. Jesus, Jesus talks about that. And the Sabbath was really just to create a like, almost like a restart and a refresh so that we can pour into our work. I saw this quote and it was like, if you idolize work, rest will feel like a sin. And that's not like a Bible verse. So I'm not saying like, whoa, like that's like, but it's still like, wow, that's like honestly so true. Every time that I've put my work as like first priority, anytime I rest, I'm like, I'm supposed to be doing something. I need to like, I need to get ahead of the game. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, yes, work hard. Like those things are glorifying to God. But rest is so important for the, so we can pour into work properly. And we don't want to create like a legalistic view on rest because the Pharisees did that and Jesus rebuked them because we're not supposed to have like the, this perfection Sabbath where we can literally do nothing. Like Jesus did holy work on the Sabbath for God's glory. Like there were people that he healed and then the Pharisees were like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't be working on the Sabbath. And Jesus was like, well, this is bigger priority. Wouldn't you take care of someone on the Sabbath if you needed to? So we don't want to get legalistic about it, but the Sabbath is holy and rest is so important. And things that I did in this video can be seen as little ounces of rest. And you didn't see, but like other points during the day, like I was just laying down really taking care of my body because this week was pretty busy. So it was nice to just kind of like, and part of me did not want to rest. Like I've been getting on a grind a lot lately. Like my work, like my schedule is just like increase, increasing every single week. But so my temptation today was just like to be on go, go, go mode. And I needed to fill every gap with something, but I knew that I needed the rest. And I'm so thankful that I took it. God wants his people to rest so that when we do work we can do it well and for his glory um but there are some things that we need to talk about that are toxic about self-help and rest and all those things so one thing that's really toxic about self-help is that people who take baths and read and go to the gym and go on a walk or whatever it is doing face masks, whatever it is to like take care of yourself, they think that that's going to give them peace. They think that that's going to give them ultimate peace within their every part of their being. I love a good bath. I love a good face mask. I love working to working out. I love laying down. I love hanging out with my family. But I promise you that is not where I get peace. That is not my ultimate peace. Jesus came to give us rest and rest for our souls. He said, come all you who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest and rest for your souls. Taking a bath and all that stuff, 
is good for the body and to let your body rest. But if you aren't right with God, if you haven't turned away from your sin and trusted in his life, death, and resurrection. Whoa. Okay, just got a little thrown off because my dad just opened the door and scared me because I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, um, like rest is so good. Like physical rest, great. But if you haven't turned away from your sin and trusted in Jesus, if you haven't gotten right with God by repenting and believing in the life, death, and resurrection for your sin, that Jesus died for your sins and he rose from the dead, if you haven't turned away from your sin and trusted in that, then you haven't been been made right with God and therefore your soul isn't at rest because your soul isn't at peace knowing you are forgiven. Deep down, we all have shame because of sin. And we're all trying to cover it up like Adam and Eve did in the garden. And that's why our soul is in so much turmoil before we come to Jesus. So I remember when I was living in a sinful way that my rest or my soul was in so much turmoil that I would try to like, I remember this was in high school and I was taking baths. I was an active dancer. I hung out with my friends. I did all these great things, but because I was living in my sin, I was not at peace, like true peace, because my relationship with God was very damaged because of my sin, which I'm going to post a video about my testimony soon. So I'll talk more about that, but that's just a little ounce to share with you that Self-care is a great tool, but it is not to give you ultimate peace at all. And we cannot idolize rest. If we idolize rest, we're going to become lazy and then work is going to feel like a sin. A lot of people think that like work was a result of the fall. Like when Adam and Eve sinned, then work came in. But that is so not true. Like Adam had, he was to, to take care of the garden before they sinned. So work was a thing prior but it's so easy for us to think that like work was a consequence. It's just work is hard now and there's a lot more sin that comes into work. So it makes it a lot harder. Work is not a result of the fall, but we need to not idolize our rest. We need to not idolize taking care of ourselves. We need to put our relationship with Jesus first and then everything can start falling into place. And taking care of yourself will be for the glory of God. Resting will be for the glory of God so that you can do your work well and so that your work isn't idolizing But it's for the glory of God and that when your work is done for the week, then when you rest It is good. So so ultimately Like I love self-care, but my biggest priority is Jesus and being able to rest in him um, And he gives me my peace and then taking care of my body and all that is just an added plus of making me feel awesome. The song for this video is Everywhere Everything by Noah Khan because he's about to play on SNL and I'm going to watch it because he's so awesome and so cool and his music is really something that I've been loving lately. So 